Today's gospel story, the day before we gather, we'll gather together and celebrate Easter, is a wonderful passage of scripture found in Romans chapter 8. And it's only appropriate that we would look at this passage on a day that I'm calling Silent Saturday, when to all of the disciples it had to be as though their dream had died. Jesus Christ, who they had left everything in order to follow, is gone. They're back on their own. And we'll see that they kind of gravitate toward doing the things that they had done before. But Jesus is uh, going to show us tomorrow that he is alive forevermore. And years later, the Apostle Paul would be inspired by the Holy Spirit to make this statement. There is now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. There's a lot of condemnation in our world. A lot of people are racked with guilt. Now, there are two kinds of guilt in the world. There are times that I feel guilt because I am indeed guilty of something. And the only thing that will get rid of that kind of a guilt is to ask forgiveness. And when I ask forgiveness from Jesus Christ, He wipes the slate clean. He takes my sin as far as the east is from the west and never reminds me or brings it up to me again. But I'm human and you're human, and a lot of times we have a hard time forgiving ourselves. Our world is filled with families that are carrying all kinds of secrets, and they can't get past the condemning and the guilt that they feel. This Sunday morning, when you gather at your church for worship and Easter, would you remember that the empty tomb is also a sign that you can be forgiven of your sin and your guilt and the feeling of condemnation that you carry around? Because it goes on to say in that passage that he has freed us from the sinful things and has set us free. Some of the best news you're going to hear this Easter season is that in Jesus Christ, there is therefore now, right this very moment, no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Have a great and blessed Easter and enjoy your freedom in Christ.